Hey guys, I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please hit that subscription button down below and the notification bell for updates on our next videos. So, uh, since we got our new goats, we need to get them up on the stand and draw their blood. And we usually measure them, get their weight, things like that. So, uh, I'm going to get the big boy up here and I'm by myself, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I probably won't film me getting him over here because I'm going to be focused on how his temperament is since I don't know this buck that well. And uh, But I'll start filming once we get him up on the stand. Alright, so we've got our big boy up on the scale. Um, I just weighed him, or measured him. And right here at the shoulders, he's 36 and a half inches tall. He's a big boy. And uh, I think the weight could be slightly off because we have him tied with his head and so I'll double check his weight when I untie his head but right now he's around 171 172 he's kind of slightly altering but I've seen it go up into the 180s so like I said I think it might be his head so what we're gonna do today is because he's a new goat we are gonna draw blood and his horns I'm gonna show you how wide they're sticking out so I have to watch myself um, when I do this. Now surprisingly, I did get him up there all by myself. So I'm a little nervous to take him off. He actually is pretty calm. So here we go. So we're gonna draw blood from the vein right here in the neck. All right, bud. Just stay relaxed, okay? Here we go, poke. Easy, good boy. All right, good boy. You're okay, good boy. All right, so we've got our blood now. He did very good, just a little twitch there. And we're testing for disease. He's never been tested before. All right, so now we're gonna untie him and see what we can do and hopefully not die. <laughs> All right, bud, good boy. You did good. Okay, you did really good. Very good job. Easy. Take it easy. Okay. All right. Okay, lift your head off there. Good boy. Can you stay on the scale for me for just a moment? And relax. Yeah, I'm seeing 177.8 on his on his weight. Good boy. All right, so now we got to take him back to his pen. All right, guys, so now the fun part. Whoops. <laughs> We're going to try and get this guy back in his pen. You ready? Come on. All right, I'm going to stand away from him a little bit, and hopefully he'll jump off on his own. Okay, come on. You ready to go back? Come on. Come on, bud. Let's go. Hop down. There you go. Good boy. All right, you ready? You ready to come back now? Come on. Good boy. You want to go ahead of me? No? All right. Oh, gosh. Gosh, he's big, guys. All right, come on. Nice and easy. Just don't, don't shove me, okay? I don't like being in front of them sometimes in case they like to go really quick. Goodness. Easy, bud. All right, I'm going to flip the camera around. All right, guys, so sorry if this video is a little bit crazy, but I'm going to show you how hard it is sometimes to deal with these big guys. Come on. Easy. Easy, bud. Good boy. You're doing fine. Okay. Now, he has not yet met the big boys, and I know he wants to go over there, but he's not allowed to until we get those blood tests back. All right, come on. Easy. He's going to want to go over there. Easy, Thor. It's all right. Thor, it's okay. Good boy. All right. Come on. Keep walking. You're doing great. Come on, Wrecker. Doing good. Come on. Now, he's he's a pretty calm buck. He's just a little nervous. But uh, I was able to catch him in the pen. I just threw a couple of cookies on the ground, and I just grabbed him by the horn. Now, most people would grab him by the horn and walk him that way. But sometimes I like them to be able to kind of learn to walk on the lead. 
and uh, even some of my wild guys have calmed down enough that I could just walk them. And he's doing pretty good. All right, we're almost there. Easy. All right, come on. Wait, which way are you going? So I'm not in your way. There you go. Easy, bud. All right, so I'm gonna try and set the camera down and we'll get him untied and into his pen. Easy, you're okay. You're all right. So excuse me guys for a minute for the crazy, crazy camera. Let me get it set up real quick. Easy, easy, easy. All right, relax, relax. You're doing good. All right, we're gonna get him into his pen now. Alrighty, so we've got him in his pen. I apologize the camera got knocked over by the wind. But we got him in there. Nobody got hurt, thank goodness. So I'm gonna give him some cookies so that way he's happy. He's already looking around for him. I've been throwing him on the ground since yesterday to try and get him to come over to me. Because he is a wild goat, he's not friendly at all like my other boys. But I need to be able to get a hold of him. And uh, I tried give him an, giving him horse pellets. He turned his nose up to it. And actually, when he broke my chicken feeder over there, I fixed it. But he never touched the chicken feed, which is a good thing. Um, because it can bloat them. Um, but luckily, I think he went in there and he got kind of stuck for a moment. And uh, I think he just broke the side on accident. And so I have fixed it. And there is still some chicken feed on the ground that spilled out, and he hasn't touched it. So I'm very happy about that. So the chickens are cleaning it up. <laughs> but let me go get him a cookie for being good. All right, guys. So uh, Vanessa in Virginia turned me on the, to these. These are what she gives her goats for treats. They're horse uh, treats. And they're the... Oh, I, I'm, I think the apple and oat is the flavor. And uh, it's funny because Wrecker would not eat the horse pellets. He wouldn't eat the chicken feed, which is good. <laughs> um, but he does like these. Come here, bud. He's like, I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm going to go in the pen instead of trying to feed him. He, I think he's touched our electric fence because he doesn't come near the fence, which is good. Hey, bud. Here you go. See if he'll, he's not ever eaten out of my hand. But we'll see. Sorry, I'm going to break this. So, uh, there we go. Here you go. Here you go, bud. Here. Right here. No? <laughs> he didn't see where that other cookie fell. Let me try again. Here, I'll just pick it up. There we go. I'm eventually working toward him eating out of my hand. <laughs> Wrecker, where are you going? He's looking over there where I threw him last time. Here you go, bud. Here you go. Here. Here you go. At least I did find something that he likes. We'll see, maybe with this tree between us, he'll feel more comfortable. Come here, bud. Here. Here. Oh, he's looking at it. Oh, look at that. We have progress already. Look at them horns. Those are insane. <laughs> All right. Well, he ate out of my hand, so that's awesome. Come here. Wrecker, come here. Good boy. Yeah, there you go. Good boy.
Well, it can definitely be a pain <sighs> to get goats up there by yourself when they're not trained to it. But this is Pinky, and she already got her face loose. <laughs> Apparently, I didn't do it tight enough, so I gotta fix it. <laughs> Okay. Got it. <laughs> Alright, so this is Pinky. She's one of our new girls. And uh, we're, we're ready to draw her blood now. And I always make sure that I pre-label my vials here. I definitely love my new uh, stand because I can do all this stuff by myself. I don't need help. It makes things a lot easier. Okay, come on. So this one's Calliope. She was a little bit easier. You're all right. It's okay. Good girl. Alright, so that one's Calliope. Now we're going to let these girls dry up. Um, just because, I mean, they're already looking way better from when we first got them home. They're already gaining weight, they're looking really good. But uh, if we let them dry up, they'll gain their weight a little bit faster. And since breeding season's only a month or so away, um, I'd rather get them nice and healthy before we rebreed. So these girls are going to get some copper bolus. Um, they haven't had theirs just yet, so we're going to give that to them um, later on this week. Alright, so we got blood tests done on all three new goats, and I'm going to send those off in the mail today. If you guys would like to see how to draw blood, I do have a video, and I'll post it in the description below. And uh, we'll see you guys next time.